West Virginia. We've driven three and a half hours on roads like this. You gotta and want. You gotta to want to get to this place. And cell phone service is very spotty. And I love every minute of it. <laughs> Wild and wonderful, West Virginia. We wanted to document that West Virginia has biscuits and gravy potato chips. They're incredible. <laughs> this is, what is this, Lumberport? Lumberport, Lumberport West, West Virginia. And we are still two and a half hours away from Green Bank, but we are up in the hollers of West Virginia. So this would have been a logging camp, I would have only assumed. There's a bunch of lines up here that we passed. It is a roller coaster road to Green Bay, by the way. This is probably the first time in an hour we've gotten cell phone service too. Just about to help to help build people's houses. When you were how old you came here? church where we helped put in um, uh, uh, fluorescent lights. Cool. Pumping fluorescent lights. What does fluorescent mean? Those big long Light tube pictures. lights. Yeah. I remember enjoying it because I actually got to do work and actually got to help. Yeah. That's a cool story. And we came up here with it was like a it was like a church. It was five or six families that came up and did a mission trip. Oh, Observatory. That that Star Wars looking thing you see in the distance. Is a radio telescope, one of the largest in the country, and certainly on the East Coast. And uh, we just went to the Science Center, and that video will probably follow this. So it's pretty cool. And Pocahontas County, West Virginia, is pretty incredible. Too. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a quiet zone, and our kids can't be quiet. So yeah, quiet zone. So. There's no radio signals, no Wi-Fi, no cell signal, nothing, nothing like that here at all. So, pretty cool. If you've made it this far into the video, we want to say thank you for coming along with us on that whirlwind of an adventure to get here. We promise that the scenery alone is well worth it in Pocahontas County, West Virginia. So we arrived at the Green Bank Observatory where here we had the Catching the Wave Exhibit Hall where they had lots of hands-on exhibits and activities for kids. We opted for a self-guided tour instead of a group tour due to time. The exhibit hall did a great job explaining big science concepts for our small kids who they could understand, starting off with what are radio waves and expanding on the work of Carl Jansky, the father of radio astronomy. Here there were exhibits for how the Green Bank Telescope adjusts its mirrors. This is the world's largest and fully steerable telescope that is over 100 by 110 meters in diameter. Thanks to the work of Grote Raper, who was for a decade or more America's only radio astronomer. Also know that if you don't apply for a guided tour, you will have restricted access to the facilities. That's the elementary school and the radio antennas behind it. That's the 
That's the interplanetary defense shield against the Death Star. Remember the different signals that the molecules give off? If they see one type of radio signal, then they know that's oxygen or ammonia or hydrogen water. or water, yeah. So radio astronomy is a really important arm of the astronomical sciences, of observational sciences. Now, visible, the visible spectrum astronomy will always be important, but radio astronomy is also very important because there's a lot that happens outside of the visible spectrum that you can't see. That's a good example of it right there. And that was the Green Bank Telescope. Yeah. White Sulphur Springs. White Sulphur Springs. White Sulphur Springs, West, West Virginia. Virginia. It's where the Greenbrier, um, and a, a, a relatively famous resort, is located in White Sulphur Springs, right across the line into, into West Virginia from Virginia. So. Okay. So Green, the Greenbrier is like a spa. It's like a resort spa it's a thing. Golf course. Spa, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're not gonna let you drive up in here. No, they will not. He's gonna tell you to turn around. Denied. Guess you'll never know what it looks like unless you book there. Well, can we book there? But the Amtrak comes here. Look at this. Oh, this is the Amtrak station. The Amtrak station. You can take the Christmas train to White Silver Spring. You can take. <laughs> See anything past the hedges? Probably not. Employee parking lot. You can almost see it. Hang on, hang on. Who's down here? What? Gun Club, Kate's Mountain Lodge. That's the side of it right there. Huh. Now. Okay. Now listen. Keep going. Back in the 50s, Tell us about it. they dug up under the Greenbrier and they made a giant nuclear fallout bunker shelter. What? What's that? Well, it's a, basically a, a cave they dug up underground and it was specifically for Congress. So all 500 or 324 members of Congress and their aides and staffs could live up, up underground in case of a nuclear strike. Wow. Welcome yeah. to West Virginia, everybody. Because yeah. it's tucked away in the mountains. Again, it's tucked away in the mountains. In the middle of nowhere.